winning wrestling matches is kind of a difficult thing. And it took me a long time to realize that everybody goes to a practice. It's like two or three hours long and like some are harder than others. But for the most part, it's all kind of the same shit. So when you guys go to compete, you guys, it's like everyone's at kind of the same level. And doing these things helped me pull ahead of the pack, helped me change my record from being like 25 and 18 to 38 and 8. These are five really simple tips. Anyone can do them. But before I get into this, if you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If it helps you, hit that notification. I'm changing up my schedule because I see because I saw that more people are online on Monday, Thursday, and Saturdays at 1 o'clock than they are at my current schedule. So that's going to be my new schedule. Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. I'm starting next week, next Monday. This starts jumping right into this. Tip number one, run before school. If you're just going to practice and you're just doing the conditioning in practice, your practice is from whatever, two to five, then your practice just simply is not enough, all right? Anyone who does more than what you do normally in a day's worth of practice is going to pull ahead of you. You know what I mean? And the, like the mass majority of kids do not run before school or they do not run after school. Just getting that little bit of extra cardio will allow you to pull ahead and you'll win matches based on stamina and not technique. You know what I mean? You'll see that starting to happen. You'll see that you'll be wrestling a kid and he's just gonna like start slowing down before you do. And this is really, really good. You know what I mean? You can wrestle anyone to the point of them slowing down. It's just like a matter, it's just a matter of whether or not you have the gas tank to get there. Anyone can drill all the technique in the world and their technique can be perfect. But if they don't have the gas tank to use their technique, then it's completely worthless. And a lot of winning matches happens when your opponent runs out of gas, when, like when your opponent's gas tank is on E. So it's not cheating, it's not unfair, it's not like it's not anything. It's just you working harder than the other person. So this one little thing, it takes 10 minutes every day just to go out and run, run half a mile, run back and do it as fast as you can. It takes no time. Okay, you're tired for like 30 minutes, but then you're good, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not a big deal, you go to school. And I know a lot of you guys are starting school later than me. I, my first class started at exactly 7 a.m. If I wasn't at school at 6.55, I was gonna be late. I know a lot of you guys start at like 7.30, or if you're in middle school, you start even later. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be working out either before or after school. Like you should be doing like a little workout before or after. Go from cereal, waffles, toast and butter, juice right you want to go from these things with very high carbs and sugars and you want to switch those while keeping while keeping the calorie amount either consistent or more since it's off season you might want to gain weight you want to change those things to sausage eggs hash browns milk right some carbs are good for you you do need some carbs but you want to cut out as many processed carbs as possible this means you don't want to be eating Reese's, you don't want to be eating Twizzlers, you don't want to be eating Twix, you don't want to be eating Trick cereal, you don't want to be eating Fruit Loops. You know what I mean? Cut out the things that have gone through a machine to make the food. You want to eat things that are like like hash browns. Hash browns are just potatoes or like carrots or you know what I mean? Something that's that isn't artificially sweetened or preserved. And just changing one meal, just changing a third of your diet will make a huge difference, right? It's not even that hard. If you make your own breakfast and you gotta wake up an extra five minutes, 10 minutes, right? Or you can do this at any point throughout the day. I just think breakfast is the easiest one to change and it's usually the most unhealthy meal of the day. You just gotta wake up an extra five, 10 minutes, start cooking. Or if your mom makes it, just ask her, be like, mom, make eggs instead of cereal in the morning. You know what I mean? It's super, super easy. And now tip number three, I think this is the most effective thing that I have ever done. This has helped my wrestling like tenfold, okay? And what it is, is you have to make a flow chart of all the moves you know, like from start to finish, and the defenses that it could possibly have, okay? So I made a, a little one right here. See, it starts off, right? I wanna end my move with running the pipe from a single leg, okay? So I start off with the setup, right? It goes arm drag. If everything goes perfect, it goes arm drag, to drop shot. If you guys don't know what a drop shot is, check out my video right here. Drop shot to turning the corner, to picking up the leg, to running the pipe, okay? There's technique that you have to learn in all of these, but this is how it chains together. This is how it goes together. Writing it down helps so much, okay? And you see I wrote, from an arm drag, the defense is an underhook. 
right? If somebody drags my arm and I get an underhook, right? I'm gonna be right here, but it's gonna stop their shot, all right? And then from there, from their defense, you wanna write your offense, right? So if somebody gets, so if I arm drag someone and they get an underhook on me, okay? I already know since I wrote it down that I need to go lateral. You know what I mean? So if I go arm drag and I, like this arm, this arm with an arm drag is always going to be over. You know what I mean? He's not going to get an underhook with this arm. He's not going to be able to feed it in right here. He's going to take the arm that you're dragging and put it under this armpit. Okay. And if he does and he does it deep, right? If he does the correct defense to stop your shot, then you should be able to pinch down, like get the underhook from this, right? Since you're going underhook, since you're going arm drag, your arm's gonna be right here and you can just like feed it under and you go lateral. You know what I mean? Straight to the mat. And you should already know this, right? You should already know that when you're going for the arm drag, he might touch your armpit, okay? And if he touches your armpit, if his arm gets deep, you should know, like you should get comfortable with getting the under and over and putting the lateral because he's gonna be off balance. All right, you need to think like this for all of the positions. You know what I mean? You need to put as many defenses and as many counters to their defenses as you know. I did this one really quick. Obviously, there's a bunch more stuff. When you drop shot, right, when you level change, their defense is gonna be a front headlock. Okay, so if you feel that before you touch their legs, they put you in a front headlock, you need to know that your defense is the sit through. Okay, these are things that you've already drilled. These are things that you already know how to do well. It's just you need to know exactly when you're gonna pull them out. You know what I mean? You only really hit the sit through if you've been, you only really have to hit a sit through if your shot has been defended. And the quicker you hit the sit through, then the quicker you can actually defend the headlock. You know what I mean? You don't really have time to think about it during the match, so you wanna think about it before the match so it's just already like preloaded in your head the more you do this the more you do this the more it's like it's like you're adding something to your batman belt you know what i mean you're adding something to your utility belt just something you can pull out on a moment's notice and you know what to do okay i talk about doing stuff like this a lot and it helps you subconsciously it's not like you like you're not going to see the difference tomorrow you're not going to see it in a, in a week but at the end of the year, you're gonna be like, wow, like I am way faster than all of these kids. I am whooping all of these kids. And it's because they didn't take the extra time to think about their wrestling moves outside of school. Tip number four, watch college wrestling, okay? You guys have no idea the tool that watching like high level wrestling is. Because like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you had to have the right programming, you had to have the right TV, you had to be watching TV at the right time to be able to watch the highest level wrestling. You know what I mean? Now you can just go online and watch hours and hours and hours of the best wrestlers doing what works and doing what doesn't work, doing defenses, doing offense. You know what I mean? You can literally just sit there and study. I was going to do match reviews for all the NCAA matches, but all my but my videos are getting striked, so my videos are getting copyrighted and I want to get a strike, so but watch the NCAAs, watch as many college tournaments as you can. You know what I mean? Study these wrestlers. What they do in a match will work for you. It will most definitely work for you. And you can watch, like, you can watch and learn their technique. You just have to see where their head goes, where their chest goes, where their arms are, where their legs are, and where their hips are at all times. You know what I mean? I've seen, I've learned so many moves from just watching college wrestling. And my last and final tip is probably the way that you'll get the best, the quickest, you know what I mean? You'll make the biggest leaps in the shortest amount of time. And it's just wrestling harder people, you know what I mean? Getting your butt kicked, wrestling people who challenge you, who wrestle people who, when you do the things that you know, they beat you anyway, you know what I mean? When you hit the move that you've drilled a million times and you can hit on almost anyone in a real match, Wrestle with someone that will beat that move. Wrestle with someone that will make you improve that move. You know what I mean? You don't want to you don't want to wrestle with someone who is worse than you and just whoop on them and then the second you get some pressure in an, a real match you just completely fold under the pressure. 
that's what we're trying to avoid, okay? So if you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I hope it helped you. I post a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. So stay tuned for that. Check out my MMA vlogs. Check out everything. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.